The base of a cuboid is a square with an area of 49 square centimeters. Alright, let me draw this cuboid here. Okay, so this is a cuboid. Okay, so this here is the base of the cuboid. Alright, and this base here is a square with an area of 49 square centimeters. So, if this were the top view, it will look like this. Alright, the base will look somewhat like this. Alright, the area of this base is 49 square centimeters. We know that 7 times 7 is equal to 49. Therefore, the length of the edge of the square is 7 centimeters. Alright, this is also 7 centimeters. Alright, so this is 7 centimeters. Alright, this is 7 centimeters. Alright, we are told that the height and the edge of the square face are in the ratio of 10 is to 7. So the height to the edge of the square face is 10 is to 7. Alright, the edge of the square face is 7 centimeters. So this 7 units here is equal to 7 centimeters. Therefore, 1 unit is equal to 7 divided by 7 which is 1 centimeters. So the height of this cuboid is actually 10 times 1 which is 10 centimeters. Alright, so this here is 10 centimeters. What is the volume of the cuboid? We've got the length, we've got the breadth, we've got the height. So straight away we can find the volume of the cuboid which is just 7 times 7 times 10. Alright, this will work out to be 490 cubic centimeters. Or, since you already know the base area, volume is also base area multiplied by height. So, 49 times 10 is also 490 cubic centimeters. What is the total surface area of the cuboid? Now, because this is a square face that we've got here, all, right, all the vertical faces would be equal in area. Okay, so do take note, vertical faces would be equal in area. So we are talking about the total surface area of the cuboid. We need four vertical faces and two times of its base area. All right, the base area here would be equal to the area that we have here. So one rectangular face would have an area of 7 times 10, alright, this is 7 times 10, alright, we have got 4 equal rectangular vertical faces, so we multiply that by 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, if you can see that here, alright, now, this only occurs if the base area is a square, alright, or the cross-sectional area is actually a square. Alright, so because the cross-sectional area is a square, the vertical faces are all equal in area. So since we've got four equal rectangular vertical faces, 7 times 10 is the area of one vertical rectangular face. We multiply that by 4. Alright, of course we also have to add two times of the base area because we have got a square here and a square here as well. Alright, so... 2 times 49. Alright, so this will work out to be 378 square centimeters. Alright, so this here is our answer to part A and this is our answer to part B.